This is the BS6 BMW G310R, your entry ticket into the world of BMW Motorrad. Now, the company says that they have worked on fixing the issues that plague the BS4 motorcycle. And at the same time, they have slashed the price of this BS6 motorcycle by rupees 55,000. Now, that is a significant amount. We know we've got your attention. Let's hop on board, go for a ride. The first thing that you'll notice about the BS6 BMW G310R is the styling tweaks that add a much needed dose of freshness to the motorcycle's appearance. The BS4 and BS6 motorcycles look largely similar. However, BMW has worked on adding a few design touches to distinguish the BS6 motorcycle and the BS4 motorcycle. Case in point is this radiator shroud as well as this blue panel over here. And personally, I like this white and blue color combination. It is sort of like the blue jeans and white shirt combination that never really goes out of fashion. The tail panels, tail lamp and wheels are identical to the BS4 machine. But on the whole, the G310R looks nicer and more upmarket than ever. And in fact, that's also enhanced by the new LED headlamp. It looks far more modern, thanks to the darker internals and the unique DRL strip. The turn indicators have got the LED treatment as well, and they are a lot more compact this time around. Another minor improvement comes in the form of the levers, because both of them are now adjustable. But what we would have liked to see is a crisp TFT display instead of the plain Jane LCD instrument cluster, in keeping with today's times. Also, in case you're wondering, the big metal bash plate and the crash protection around the engine are not part of standard equipment. As with so many things in life, one of the things that you can take for granted from a motorcycle that bears the BMW roundel is quality. Whether it's the finish of the triple clamp, or the quality of the switch gear with its tactile feel, or the paint finish, I think the G310R is a motorcycle that is really, really well put together. While the quality of this BMW is a given, the unpleasant vibrations in the BS4 motorcycle took away from that premium BMW feel. BMW is finally taking care of the vibrations issue that plagued the 310 platform. This BS6 engine is much more refined than the BS4 engine. That said, you will feel a faint buzz in the handlebar and the pegs at RPMs around 6,000 or 7,000. That's not to say that they get bothersome at any point. In fact, the added refinement and BS6 compliance has not come at the expense of peak power and torque. That's the same as before. That said, there are a few mechanical changes and BMW has added a slipper clutch and ride-by-wire. The benefits lie in a lighter clutch pull and smoother downshifts. But the 6-speed gearbox remains a tad clunky. As for the ride-by-wire, the system remains easy to modulate at city speeds and the bike hasn't become jerky or over-responsive. For those looking to extract the most from the performance on hand, the bike only really wakes up when you cross 5000 RPM. But after that, it pulls all the way to 10,000 RPM. Our test figures tell us that the BS6 G310R is only 0.5 seconds slower than the BS4 model in the sprint up to 100 kph. That's acceptable, considering the BS6 G310R weighs 5.5 kilos more than the BS4 model. The frame, upside down fork and preload adjustable motor shock remain unchanged and the bike continues to strike the right balance between gobbling potholes and being quite agile at the same time. The brakes however, have a dull initial bite, but the 300mm disc and 4-piston caliper offer a decent amount of feedback and stopping power when needed. Now, while the chassis is quite well set up, it is let down by the tyres. When you start pushing this motorcycle, say when you enter a corner hard, you are let down by the grip offered by these tyres. They simply don't have the feedback that you'd expect. Instead, 
BMW should have opted for the Michelin road fire that are present on the TVS Apache RR310. With this price drop, the G310R costs less than the KTM 390 Duke and is nearly the same as much as the TVS Apache RR310. It is a nicer urban bike than both, but the RR is better equipped, while the KTM is in a completely different league in terms of performance. The Austrian motorcycle also offers an up and down quick shifter, a large TFT display with Bluetooth connectivity, and that certainly raises its value quotient. Now, BMW said that it has also worked on the after sales costs, but there's still the relatively tiny dealer network that may pose a challenge with regards to sales and after sales. At the end of the day, this is the motorcycle that's built for those that want something that's easy to ride. It is really nimble in the city and can handle highway runs without breaking a sweat. And above all of that, it bears the BMW badge. It is, as we've said before, the entry ticket into the world of BMW Motorrad. Now that has a different draw in itself.